The final whistle is gone, Callum McGregor's celebration speaks for all Celtic supporters across the world. For 85 minutes, it was a frustrating afternoon for Celtic, who just couldn't find a way through a packed, a congested Aberdeen defence. We needed someone with a, a bit of skill, someone who could find the target from distance, someone to provide that little bit of magic to give Celtic the lead. And it came from a man who many would have expected maybe not to be in the starting lineup this afternoon. Callum McGregor, out for so long, injured. Back to lead the boys this afternoon. Not just lead them out the tunnel, but lead them to victory with the winning goal. Yes, Skipper! Yes, Skipper, said Benjamin Seacrest. And he speaks for all Celtic supporters. That man has created the phrase, we never stop. And a Celtic go nine points clear at the top of the table, Tom Boyd. It's another example of that. Yes, it is, and uh, we've got so many. It, and what happened there towards the end was with a bit of quality from Callum and his striking. We've had so many attempts at goal today, a lot of them questionable. And the biggest miss was obviously Kyogo and others in the first half that uh, Roos was a match to and getting a few breaks. We didn't quite get the breaks in those opportunities, you know, they say you make them. And there's where that man made them. He stepped up to the mark, found himself in a good position. But the Akers still had a lot to do because Ross was in uh, Ross was in good form today, and uh, he managed to find that little bit of space between the goalkeeper and the post to find it into that corner, and they no more than they deserved in terms of the, cons the incessant pressing uh, and uh, the negative tactics of, of Aberdeen in terms of they followed the St Mullen script to a T, and uh, thankfully this one didn't end up uh, with a victory or any points whatsoever. Uh, we don't want to see, we like seeing a hope and attack, but we like to see everything having a go and a team that's in third place and they're putting yourself in the position and you think at home they could do that, you know, come to Celtic Park in these kind of positions. But uh, obviously that's what they've seen as the best opportunity to try and take something from this game. Uh, but thankfully, Callum had other ideas. And he, he did indeed. And as Kyogo leads the celebrations in front of the, the Celtic supporters, it's smiles all round in the stands and looks of determination on the manager and the faces of the Celtic supporters they know the jobs only half done at the moment nine points is a fantastic cushion to have at this stage but the, the festive period as so often is with the games coming thick and fast can sometimes be crucial in the destination of a league title Important strike from Callum McGregor and the connection between the manager and the supporters is there for all to see. It's in a game where you sometimes struggle and you come to places less and a team that's organised and things are not quite working out for you. Pitches maybe starting to get bumpy, a lot of rain at this time of year, they're not as uh, nice as what they were to start the season, so there will be a lot of uh, live bounces off the place. Uh, maybe that's what happened with Kyogo when he's trying to put one in the, ba uh, the back of the net, uh, but it's about getting into these places, getting out the, uh, the the points and making sure nobody gets close to you. Don't give them a sniff of a chance of any optimism there uh, to, towards your closest rivals. One talking point this afternoon. It came late, but goodness me, it's worth talking about. What a strike from Callum McGregor. It finishes Aberdeen nil, Celtic one.